After more than 10 years, Sonos are replacing the Sonos Connect with the new Sonos Port. Hi guys, it's Emily from Smart Home Sounds. If you haven't heard of us before, we're a home audio company dedicated to helping our customers find the right speakers for them. So today we're going to be looking at the brand new Sonos Port, which is one of three brand new Sonos products announced in September 2019. So the Sonos Port is essentially a streaming component which enables you to bring your existing hi-fi equipment into the Sonos ecosystem to give you access to music services so that you can stream music from places like Spotify or Apple Music. It also lets you integrate your existing hi-fi equipment such as floor standing speakers or bookshelf speakers with any other Sonos speakers that you have around your home. Port will replace the Sonos Connect which was released back in the mid 2000s and still continues to sell well as it appeals to existing users of Sonos who also have hi-fi equipment in their house they don't want to get rid of. However, due to advancements such as AirPlay 2 and the increasing demand for better sound quality, Sonos have decided that it's time for an upgrade. So I've actually got a Sonos Connect here for us to compare with the port. Um, visually, they're clearly very different. Um, the Sonos port is much more modern and sleek looking and it's got a nice matte black finish and it's more similar with um, the more recent products from Sonos such as the Sonos Amp which was released earlier this year. Um, it's also a lot more compact than the Connect and you can fit three of these side by side in a standard 19 inch rack which is great. In terms of functionality, you can still use the port to play your favourite music services through your traditional stereo system as well as forming part of your wider um, Sonos home sound system. So if we take a look at the back of the port, it has two connections for your existing equipment, an RCA for analogue and a coaxial for digital. Um, it also has a dedicated line in which can be used for turntables, CDs or other audio sources so that they can then be used within a wider sonar system around your house. One great new feature on the port that is missing in the connect is a 12 volt trigger which if required will automatically turn on your stereo or receiver when a signal is sent so that means that there's no extra steps required or any remote needed or anything like that. Another new feature on the port is Apple AirPlay 2, which is great if you've got an iOS device such as an iPhone or a Mac, as you can cast any audio straight from your device um, without having to use the Sonos app. You'll also get a more detailed sound from your wired speakers um, using the port as it's got a new and improved DAC or digital to analog converter. Um, and this will improve the quality of sound as it can extract more detail for your hi-fi to deliver a better performance with more clarity. So the Sonos port is very different from the Sonos Amp, as the Amp actually powers passive speakers, whereas the port can't actually power any equipment. Instead, it's designed to give you access to streaming services and to integrate your hi-fi equipment, such as on your turntables, things like that, um, into a Sonos system over Wi-Fi. So to recap, you can use the porch to connect to your existing stereo system and it will allow you to enjoy streaming services, audiobooks, podcasts, radio stations. You can also use it to play your vinyl, CDs, stored audio files, things like that. And they can then be shared using the port to any other Sonos speakers that you have in your home. It also has a great number of new features which make it a really good replacement to the existing Sonos Connect. So I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you do subscribe to our channel because we've got some more in-depth reviews coming soon on all the new Sonos products. If you've got any questions then feel free to leave them as a comment or get in touch with us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.